Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien at TFNN. We go five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. Let's make it a great night, folks. Always do your best, but don't overdo. When you overdo, you deplete your body and you go against yourself, and it'll take longer to accomplish your goals. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials down 341, NASDAQ's off 110, SP's off 50, gold contract up uh, $4, traded 1856 an ounce. You have silver down 11 cents, $22.06 an ounce, light sweet crude up $3, 122.43. That baby's going for that 147, folks. That's the, that's the high. It's up in air right now. It's not, well, it's not up in air. I mean, but it's over. There's, there's only one number left. Is that 147? Notes and bonds. The 10 year note down 10 ticks, trading 118.03. The 30 year off a full point at 137. Flat and King Dollar. King Dollar is trading up 227 ticks, 102.540. Euro 107, yen 134.12, and the British pound 125 to 1 US dollar. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world? In the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at them. What do you have? Well, let's bring the SPY up first. The bottom line is that, you know, what we've, what we've had out here for the last seven days, uh, trading days, is you've been in a consolidation. Uh, bottom line, you know, if we just go from uh, last Friday, last Friday, uh, what you did out here is that, you know, you try to get higher, couldn't get higher, closed lower. Yesterday, we had a rejection of lower price. We had light of volume. And guess what, man? This is a mind blower, folks, that the SPY couldn't hit 417 today. We got 415.82. That, to me, that says it all, man. That's the bottom line. What you have here is that you got next to it. You're coming down, you, so you, you actually try to get to a higher high, and you're going to have lighter volume. We have 42 million now. You did 59 yesterday. We'll probably end up with 52, 55, somewhere in there. We look at the NDX 100. It's the same type of setup in the NDX. It's pretty amazing that it couldn't get up just a little bit higher. Uh, NDX, bottom line, is that you get over the highs of yesterday. The high of yesterday inside the queues was at uh, 310.67. We made it to a 311. We had volume of 44 million, which is light volume, and we're at 31 now. So, bottom line, you're not going to do 11 million in an hour when you've done 30 million all day. You know, we'll, we'll probably do seven, but bottom line, it's going to be a failure in volume, failure in price. That says that, you know, we're getting set up for the CPI. And my take is that this number, the bottom line, was going to get us down to this 280 pretty quick. Um, so, Gold. Gold contract out here. Rejected lower price again. What gold and platinum have been doing is that they've been basically consolidating also, getting down into the you know bottom of the consolidation, rejecting lower price. We rejected it yesterday. Uh, didn't get quite to the low today. Rejected uh, at 1846. You're trading out here at 1855. Um, it's a good setup, man. That's the bottom line. You know, uh, when I say it's a good setup, Particularly because you still have the dollar. So look at this. The, the dollar is still at a high price. The aspect, however, is that this looks like a, a nice ABC structure down to me. And if it is, you're going to have an ABC down in this 99 area. Because what we had done is this. You couldn't hold price yesterday. Today, it's barely holding price. Uh, the number we'd have to close over is like 200 ticks higher. It would be 102,731. Bottom line, having a hard time holding those prices. Notes and bonds, they continue to want lower price, higher yield. What we got in the note and bond market out here is that you got to a lower low yesterday. It rejected lower price yesterday. Now, this is so when you look at markets and put them together, folks, right? The bond market is really important for all the markets. But when I look at this bond market right now, and say that, okay, the 10 year yesterday rejected lower price, it had lighter volume, so that had a chance also to go higher. What ends up happening? That fails, as does the S&P, as does the NDX 100. You, start, you put that together, and that is showing us 
just how weak a market that we actually have. That's kind of, you know, when you're looking at the bigger ball, that's how it works. Some of the higher volume equities out here today, and this will be a low volume market. You get Advanced Micro up 360, you get Apple down 74 cents, Intel's off 244, NVIDIA's off three bucks. Uh, you get Robinhood off 31 cents. You get uh, ExxonMobil up a buck. DraftKings is up $1.29. One of the big deals out here, this is going to get really interesting. I, I suspect, you know, Gensler wants to get this done, but I don't think it's the amount of money that is in Wall Street that had get paid for auto flow, folks. Um, this is going to be pretty wild. So Gary Gensler, okay, SEC chief, a chief regulator, um, you know, is basically setting up a sweeping change of rules underpending the U.S. stock market. And one of the biggest ones that he is setting up for is paid for auto flow. Now, listen, for all, you know, there's going to be a million different um, folks coming out in Wall Street saying, oh, that means retail traders are going to have to be the, they're going to pay more and all this. That's a bunch of garbage. The bottom line is that paid for auto flow is a joke. Um, you know, and it shouldn't be out there. You can just see the, the biggest firms in the world basically pay for auto flow. They pay for every single auto flow so they can just cross the auto flow. And we cross the auto flow, and when you're talking, you know, pennies, dimes, well, they're talking pennies, it adds up to billions of dollars every day. And there's no doubt that that whole system uh, has built some huge um, companies. Robinhood in particular, Robinhood in particular, <laughs> bottom line, uh, they will have a problem staying in business if, in fact, paid for auto flow goes south, you know. Dow, Dow Industrials right now down 300. You get the Nasdaq off 94, S&P's off 45. You get gold up 370. Oil's the number, man. Oil's up three bucks. Stay right there, folks. Come right back. <laughs>